Watch for the Trojans to go back there. Purvis, again, sets up with double slot formation. Langstaff now in motion. LeBlanc's to the far side of the field. Purvis rolling that way, setting up for the curl. He's got LeBlanc just over the first down marker. And the Trojans pick up their first first down. And again, the guy we look to see a lot this year, Matt LeBlanc running the nice curl pattern just over the first down marker and Purvis with the ball right there. Most importantly, over the first down marker. You teach your receivers. Hosting Mass of Isik. They open up with two home games in a row before they travel to Edward Little and Auburn for a Friday night contest. They're only one of the year. Purvis fakes, going deep, throws out a floater, but LeBlanc can get up. Sure enough, gets the feet in. No way you're going to cover him with single coverage, not the way he can go up and get the football. Thornton with the double slot formation again. Credo and Langstaff in the slots. They hand off up the middle. Rick Carey cutting through. Yes, he gets in, and the Trojans on the board. Nose for the goal line. As I said, they had double wings out on the blank. They left the middle of the field open, and he made a nice little move about 20, 12 yards down the field, faking outside, setting up his man, cutting back to the inside, and he definitely wanted that end zone, Jay. The strength to get in, he was grabbed at the three, powered his way just over the goal line. Rick Carey, number 21, scored a few last year. Late in contest, and we saw the power and the possibility of another great fullback coming up at Thorn Academy, and, and it looked a lot like something we have been used to seeing for the last three years in number 33, Art Laveris. But this time, it's 21 carry, and the Trojans on the board. Eric Cody in for the PAT. Crowd of the holder. Low snap, scoots by. Picked up and running is Cody, trying to get outside. One man, two men, still going. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What an effort. What an effort. That was all Eric Cody on that one, Jay. And one of the men he beat was number 34, Scott Alexander. And I'll tell you what, the Trojans start strong with 6.35 to go in the first quarter. They go on top, 8 nothing. You're watching Thorn Academy High School Football on CTV 30. Trying to get outside. Cody trying to grab on. He does. And gets help from Sanborn, and they bring him down for a loss of two on the play. Second down and one now for the Trojans. High formation in the backfield. Purvis will pass. Bart Starr on second down, going deep. Out there for LeBlanc. He's got it. He gets in the end zone. Oh, yeah. Air Trojans, the 1992 style. And Alexander, the man victimized, and LeBlanc just pulled him on his back right into the end zone. You can see it right from the snap, Jay. LeBlanc streaking down the field, and he blew right by Alexander, and a beautiful pass. You can't lay it out there any better than that by Purvis. Alexander on the carry, gets by one man, trying to break another tackle, and Rick Carey doing a great job holding on to the ankle. Pulling really in disarray. They were losing kids. They were dropping like flies, and it was unbelievable going through preseason, and of course, they still have to be wondering about the loss of Galen Gullett. I don't think he has it, Jay. It's gonna be very close. Sean Hogan over there along with LeClaire, number 58. Tim LeClaire did a real fine job that time, filling the hole right up in the gap and putting the hit on that ball carrier. And it is going to bring up a fourth down. Hand off to carry up the middle. No, that's Matt Sear, number 34, fighting, still on his feet, and he doesn't want to go down. Good effort by Matt. Speaking of the boys in the trenches, uh, they've done excellent this afternoon, at both opening holes and, and keeping the Bulldogs off of Purvis. I feel like this offensive line going into the season is almost as good as last year, and with three or four games under their belt, they may prove to be even better than last year's line, and there were no slouches in that line last year. Purvis fakes, got some pressure, steps around it nicely, going deep. Credo out there, he's got it! He stays on his feet, down at the 10-yard line. Brown able to get enough on him. But what a play by Purvis again, avoiding the onrush of number 77 for the Bulldogs, James Rodney. Langstaff comes in motion. Purvis fakes, cuts up inside, goes for the goal line, touchdown, Kirk Purvis. Candlemo brings out the offense. Alexander, the deep tailback. Levitt 
in the backfield to the left side. They fake the pitch, counter with Levitt. Everyone's there to stop him, and what a hit. Langa. Third down, pitch out to Alexander. Trying to get outside, he's not gonna do it. Rick Carey and Matt Sear, but Carey was just all over him. That kid's having himself a game thus far, Jay. Oh, he certainly is. Purvis again, with time, going deep. Crado's out there, gets hit from behind, but he makes the catch. Down at the 15-yard line. LeBlanc goes to the far side, but he gets double coverage with Alexander. Levitt and Alexander with him. It's going for the corner. They're going out there. Double coverage. We'll see who comes out with it. Guess who? Guess who? LeBlanc. You can't even stop him. You double cover him, and you still can't stop that kid. Let's try triple coverage next time. But really, not much more you can do as a defender. Alexander did a nice job staying with the football. He just got out, jumped for the ball. Rick Carey checking in late, gets the football. He's breaking it, see you later. Wait a minute, one man to block and LeBlanc gets in his way. There goes Rick Carey, a 60 yard touchdown run. Mark, he checked into the play last second. He got told to play by Keith Gretto. He got up to the line of scrimmage, stuck his mouthpiece in, and hit, they called his number when he wasn't even in the huddle, and he breaks a 60 yard touchdown run. He comes in the game and Gretto says, you're getting the ball. and. There, we ought to try that a few more times here. That was great. And I forget which professional wrestler is it, that uh, commercial we hear on radio. You guys bored? <laughs> you know that commercial, the kids, teenage kids are doing something with their parents, and you guys bored? And I think it's for Slim Jim or something. And uh, I think it's Randy Savage, actually, that comes out and screams it. Well, I was bored, and Rick Carey said, you're bored? Well, well here you go. certainly woke us up on that run. A tart with a counter to Simmons. Simmons, nothing doing. Lawson and Knox stuff him at the line of scrimmage. And also Rick Carey coming up to, to fill the hole. That looked like uh, it was going to be there initially. Knox was in the backfield, but Rick Carey quickly came up and filled that gap. It was 21-61, so it was Carey and Knox in on the stop. Back to pass is Latart. He's getting a blitz on, being chased out of there. Still on his feet, and now brought down Bill Lawson. Thorne yep. Academy takes over, ball at midfield. Purvis under DeRocher, and he's to pass on first down. The quick little slant, LeBlanc's got it, a lot of room. He'll get outside and knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line, so a quick 17 on the simple curl pattern. What is this, folks? Shotgun formation, Purvis rolling out, firing in the corner of the end zone. Credo's got it, two points. Hey! <laughs> We're down to 20 seconds remaining, first quarter. A blank to the near side of the field. He's got double coverage. Massabesic looking to play zone defense in the secondary. Purvis fakes, looking this way, got time. Finds Credo. Credo trying to come it back against the seam. Look out! Here he goes! Dancing! He's got it! Touchdown! And Matt LeBlanc with a great block coming the other way. But Credo doing it all. Working his way back against the green. Massabesic pursuing the other way, having to stop and try to catch Credo coming back against him. Touchdown pass from 22 yards out. And Thornton Academy scores right before the end of the quarter. Two seconds remaining now. First quarter, Thornton up top, 14-0. Once again, great poise by Purvis. Standing back there in the pocket, waiting for LeBlanc to clear the zone, and after Crotto caught the ball, great acceleration, good speed on his part. Coming all the way back across the field. He ran about 30 yards across the field to get into the end zone, and let's give credit to the offensive line. Gabe Purvis all day. Is that Kirk Purvis kicking the extra point? I believe it was. Add something else to Purvis's resume. They weren't even the Trojans back then. Counterplay to Credo, breaks outside. One man to beat out there, gets by him. Tally Taylor coming in and Taylor hauls him down at the seven yard line. Credo rambles off 24 yards. Purvis will throw. He's got plenty of time, fires full of black. He's got him in the seam. LeBlanc cuts, shakes, he bakes. Touchdown, Matt LeBlanc. Touchdown pass, and Purvis will attempt the PAT again. Crado gets up, rolling. Looks like he should run it. He fakes, and he gets in. Keep Crado two more. Carey fakes the draw. Purvis setting up. Fires out for LeBlanc, a 17-yard curl. Catches it, trying to break him in. Oh, 
The funny thing is the offensive line giving Purvis so much time that Thornton can run a 20-yard curl pattern. That's unheard of. Hand off to Rick Carey up the middle. Got some room. Runs over one man. Blank comes to the near side. Gets sole coverage with Tut again. Blank to pass. The curl in. LeBlanc catches it by one man. Trying to come across the seam again. Cuts over the middle. Fumbled. Recovered by the Trojans at the goal line. Very fortunate that time. And off Rick Carey, left side, touchdown, his second of the afternoon. And with 37 seconds remaining, first half, Thornton Academy on top, 29 to nothing. Chris Noble to kick off, a line drive booming kick. Credo fields it at the 13. Going up the right side, cuts back up the middle, back outside, back against the grain, look out! He gets it all the way down to the 39 of Massabesic. Double tight ends now, summer in motion. Rick Carey, the handoff, touchdown, goes in standing up. He gets touchdown number three on the afternoon. Low snap, Noble, good job fielding it, gets it off on a high, booming kick. To his 26, the reverse to Crotto. Crotto dances inside, got a lot of room off the sideline. Two guys blocking for him. It's gonna be a foot race. Keith Crotto, touchdown! Any question on the office of Gut Bomb this afternoon, Jay? Hopefully we can get another look at that play right here. As Soroyce fielded that one back. Right around the 23-yard line. And made a nice catch and quickly handed to Crudo. The wall was there. Crudo made a nice move by the initial guy. And the Trojans on first down, hand to carry up the middle, all kinds of room, break it into the secondary. He'll gain almost 30 yards. Credo comes to the near side, LeBlanc to the far, I formation. Purvis will go on the option, rolling out. He breaks the tackle, he'll be very, very close to the first down marker. Purvis running the option, and he's doing a great job tonight. Three backs in the backfield. It's Rick Carey off that left side, pushing, pushing, gets grabbed by the caller, still fighting, Rick Carey. You gotta like that effort, Jay. Second and third effort. I believe that official was almost ready to blow the whistle, but Rick, uh, he wasn't about to go down. And a nice drive by the Trojans, and that time, really, all ground, power football. Rick Carey, touchdown smelling, running, personified. The kid is something to behold. He gets better every week. And who knows, by the time his career is over, what he will do for Thornton Academy. Purvis will do the kicking. Credo the holder, and again, a bad kick. But Purvis up with it. Watch out, folks. There's a lot of things they can do off this. Fired into the middle. And there it is. The catch is there. Who's got it? 21, I believe, Rick Carey. And the Trojans up 8-0. You saw the dart thrown by Purvis. And we've... Uh we were joking last week about, do you think that's a, a set play? So many times we've seen it, the, the short snap and the holder picking the ball up. That time it was the kicker picking the ball up in Purvis and the rifleman right down the middle. I like that, the rifleman. That's an old movie. Thorn Academy getting out of the 4-4 and it's to Haley. Haley punched and pummeled. LeClaire with help along with Sanborn and also Rick Carey. And Edward Little looking at another punting situation. Purvis trying to get things straightened out. Purvis on a naked option. Now he stops, fires over the middle. He's got Cody. Cody breaks the tackle, still on his feet. Oh, my! The blank goes to the far side. Ray Stewart, 34, gets coverage. Coleman cheats that way. Purvis will throw. Got time. Now he fires for LeBlanc. Up there, out there, unbelievable! Edward Little had the coverage, Jay. No doubt about it. EL had the coverage on that play. And that ball was a floater. And somehow, Matt LeBlanc turned his body around, did a 180 in the air, and came down with the ball. Purvis will throw. Got time. Now he fires for LeBlanc. Up there, out there, unbelievable! Edward Little had the coverage, Jay. No doubt about it. EL had the coverage on that play. And that ball was a floater. And somehow, Matt LeBlanc turned his body around, did a 180 in the air, and came down with the ball. 
If I wore a hat, I'd take it off to Matt LeBlanc right now. I don't wear one, but Matt LeBlanc is one of the finest, if not the finest, wide receiver I have ever seen in high school football in the state of Maine. That catch was amazing. Unbelievable, sensational. The ball fired in, the blank stopped, pivoted the other way, pulled it down, and just sweet walked into the end zone. Rick Carey off the left side, a lot of room outside, down the sideline. Blocker out there, LeBlanc. He's trying to hold on to LeBlanc and he trips up. What a great job of running by Rick Carey and Matt LeBlanc doing the job blocking out in front. But Rick reached out to hold on to LeBlanc to keep his steps in stride and actually tripped himself up. And about a 55 yard pickup there. First down and 10 for the Trojans. Purvis goes to the fullback. And Rick Carey pounding off the left side. Oh my! Two plays, six points. I would say he's very close to two. I, I think he is. There's no doubt about it. Summer in motion. It will be Carey off the right side. Touchdown. R.K. And she is singing. Thorne Academy behind the hard blocking of their offensive line in the power running of Rick Carey have extended their lead to 28-14 with a minute one to play. Martin brings them out. Double tight end formation. Schufelt, Turcotte in the eye. Martin tripped up and tackled on the stunt by Rick Carey. Rick Carey shooting in low and getting at the, at the feet of Martin. He went to make the fake and the next thing you know, he was on the ground. We're gonna get another look at it. Watch Carey right in the middle and bump, there he goes. Looking for his, his running back, but never getting a chance to hand him the ball. And again, a third down and long for the Hawks. It's Turcotte trying to break outside and he's punished once, once more. Leclerc, Carey, and I believe Eric Cody all in on the stop for the Trojans. Again, a lot of time now. Sets up, fires over the middle for Credo. Credo breaks the tackle. Gets his block around the corner. He's down inside the 10. Touchdown, Keith Credo. Key block by Eric Cody right about the 20 yard line. Around, allowed Credo the outside of the field. And with a quick feed of Credo, it was six points. Thorn Academy needed that, Jay. Explosive offense and Keith Credo doing it all. And a great block downfield, you'll see it here. By number 42, Eric Cody, Credo used the block perfectly. Watch it. Right there. On Travis Moore. And Thorne Academy strikes from 40 yards out. And now the score, 22 to 12. And Purvis will work out of the shotgun. The high snap. Purvis rolling, wide open, Credo, give him two. Chevres losing big to South Portland. South Portland stays undefeated and looking very, very formidable for the Biddeford and Thornton duo. Allen to pass, the quick screen, and there was Soroyce the with a great defensive play and almost six points the other way. LeBlanc to the near side, double coverage now comes out to greet him. Going to be the counter play. A lot of room out here. Langstaff, though, dancing inside, dancing all over the place. And he'll pick up 10 yards. But if he would have stayed outside, it looked like he had it easily. He made it difficult through the middle. And what a pancake block by Knox. He knocked his man right on his back. Of course, the ball carrier cut it up inside. And Thorn Academy, for the first time this afternoon, gets to move those chains. Quick pitch. Rolling outside. Summer coming up. And he'll slow it down enough for the defense to get there. Pat O'Brien on the carry and Sear and Leclerc, Saroyce, Summer coming up initially from his safety spot. Great inside out pursuit, just the way they're taught from the safety position. LeBlanc to the near side. He has double coverage this way. Crudo to the far. Purvis looking deep. Wafting it out for LeBlanc. LeBlanc trying to make the catch. He does. Stays on his feet. Down the sideline. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown. And have we seen that before? I do believe so. 71 yards. Purvis to LeBlanc. And again, all Matt LeBlanc up in the air. The catch stays on his feet. And then the speed down the sideline. He blew off the man. And Thorne Academy 
right on the board. A minute and six seconds after Sanford scores, Thornton comes right back. They tried to chuck him up at the line of scrimmage with number 84. He blew right by him. Purvis saw that it was single coverage from that point on. Beautiful job of just lofting the ball, let Matt go up and get it. And then he breaks a tackle. Thornton going for two. Purvis rolling, 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 rolling. Throws it up. Yes, the catch is made. A flag goes down. He was they, out of bounds, I believe. They say he went out and came back in. Eric Cody doesn't realize they took it away yet. McCann now in motion to Allen to pass. Looking out, picked off. Bye-bye. So Royce to the end zone, touchdown. Flag is down, though. Jeremy Soroyce with the interception in the 25-yard return. We'll have to check the yellow flag on the field. Purvis will throw, looking over the middle for Cody. He's got him, catches it, heading for the end zone. Touchdown, Eric Cody. We've been waiting for that play all season, Jay. Good job on the inside fake to carry. Sanford, that's who they were expecting to get that ball. Purvis just lays it out there over the middle and a real nice job by Cody that time after he caught the ball, smelling the end zone. 32 yard completion, Purvis to Eric Cody. Allen will pass, nowhere to go. And he's sacked by the entire Thornton defensive front. McClaire, Knox, Carey, Lawson, Sanborn, they're all in there. Hand off up the middle, and I don't think he's going to have it. Cassette and Sanborn once again, right in the middle, stuffing things. These two boys have been uh, having some success this afternoon, closing down that middle run. Allen dropping out, nowhere to go. He's looking to run. He's going to head for the corner now. He'll toss it up in the air, and it's picked off. Keith Crotto down the sideline. Goodbye. Going in. Does he get in? Yes, sir. Crotto, the big defensive play that we've been looking for. Goes 45 yards. And it looked for a moment that big Brian LeClaire, number 36, was going to catch Crotto and actually got hands on him, but Crotto able to cross the goal line with the six points. And the play that Thorne's been looking for finally happens. There are no flags down on the field. That is not going to be called back. First down and goal to go for Thorne Academy. They go back to Kerry, right side, back to the middle. He's in. Touchdown. You got to mention, great job up front. LeClaire, Knox, DeRoches, <laughs> Taba. And Verrill, along with Eric Cody. No passes that drive, Jay. And 82, Corbini. Gooding, the draw play, and not much happening. Fumble on the field. That live football, they're going to give it to the Trojans, I believe. And that was Cody and Sanborn coming in, making the big hit, coughing that ball up. And Eric Cody was right there to hop on it, Jay. And just what we talked about in the pregame, Thorne Academy defense has to force some turnovers. And on the first play from scrimmage for Daring, that's exactly what the defense was able to do. They hand off to Langstaff. Got some room on the right side. He gets down the sideline, running over Corbini. Gets out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Trojans really need points out of this one. Purvis up top. Looking for LeBlanc. He's got it. Touchdown. Daring tried single coverage out here on LeBlanc. He made a nice move to the inside. Purvis with play action. And he delivered a nice, nice zip, really, right over the middle for six points for the Trojans. That was almost too easy. Boy, right in front of us, and you could see Purvis just looking, floated it right to LeBlanc, grabs it nicely, and goes into the end zone. Now he trots off for the limp. Quick pass over the middle, and he forgets the football. And making him pay the price is Keith Crutto, number 11, in a oh, solid hit. Man, I'm telling you, the next time he goes in that area to catch a ball, he's going to have one eye out for number 11. Gooding will try it again. He drops the ball. It's loose. Trojans, do they have it? I Sanborn so. may be on it. And it is Thorne Academy. Matt Sanborn, 56. LeBlanc comes to the near side. Also Keith Crutto and Matt Sear in slot formation. So triple wide receivers to the near side. Purvis with some time going deep. He's got Crutto out there, shielding, and he still makes the touchdown catch. The penalty flags come in. That'll be a shielding call. 
Pass interference on the defense, but it's not going to matter because Keith Crudo with a 25-yard reception from Kirk Purvis. Well, Crudo broke passes, man, about the 15-yard line with his quickness. And Purvis was just trying to throw the ball out there in the deep corner of the end zone. A little bit underthrown, a very nice job of adjusting to the ball by Crotto. And as you pointed out, shielding the defender, just putting both arms on the end, never looking back for the football. It's not a goal-to-go -go situation, but in all reality, it is. Second down and nine. Crotto to the near, Hogan to the far. I formation in the backfield. Purvis will keep, fakes it. He's into the end zone, untouched. Purvis will keep, fakes the pitch, still on the move, cutting outside, back in. TD number two for Kirk Purvis. Purvis, back to pass. Running the curl is Crotto, cuts in, makes the catch by the defender, touchdown. Beautiful play action to the middle, and Purvis was able to throw a, a bullet right in between two Lewiston defenders. Crotto adjusting well to the ball, and once he caught it, no way you're gonna catch that man. Six points for the Trojans. Fourth and four. Thorne's offensive line is giving Purvis the time so far. Purvis on the option, he'll have it. Back up the middle, all the way down to the 19 yard line. Thorne with two downs to get it. Let's see if they try to go four or five. Purvis throwing again, the same route. It's there, he makes the catch. Gets by his man. Touchdown, Keith Crudo. Good job after catching that football. Little inside move. And running the final six yards into the end zone. And that's right back in your face football. They needed that drive. What a great call by Coach Agresti. It was there the first time. He knew it. He goes right back to it. The same situation happens. The ball thrown a little to the outside. The defender tried to Slips a little bit. Credo makes the catch. A good move by him. And then dances foot free into the end zone. Actually, Trembley's the quarterback over at the line. And he's got Grenier, the quarterback, taking shotgun formation. He takes it. Runs to his left side. No, he's not going too far. Throws it up. Is it picked off? Yes, it is. Rick Carey. No flag. Touchdown, Trojans. The I'm big sorry. defensive play we needed. The turnover, and there it is. I don't know where he was trying to throw that football. There were three Trojans right there on him. And boy, you want to talk about getting momentum to start this second half, mister. There it is. You want to talk about a play backfiring, and there it is. Can you say, Gero, your premium? Because that pass certainly reminded us of that. Back to the Dolphins and the Redskins, and Thorne Academy has the go-ahead touchdown with 11.34 remaining in the third quarter. And Rick Carey, the guy who said, the emotional guy on the defense, the one who might inspire them, certainly has got the Trojans up and fired up. They come out with their power offense still. Double tight ends. Langstaff, Carey, and Summer in the backfield. Summer in motion. Purvis gets it up in the air. Cody, yes! What a catch, Eric Cody! Touchdown, Trojans! And what a great job by Purvis and keeping his poise. He had two men from Edward Little hanging on to him, was able to gain his composure and make a nice delivery. And what a great one-handed catch by Eric Cody. That certainly was. Spectacular catch by the tight end. Gets up with the left paw. Stops the football's momentum. Comes down and makes the two-handed grab. Stays in the back of the end zone before going out and Thornton has six points. They go for the one point try. Purvis up and hey, what a surprise through the post. He's still perfect. Third and 10. Purvis back to pass, has some time, lofts it out. Fettles out there, he catches it. The 10, touchdown, Thornton Academy. A 50 yard strike from Purvis to Crudo. Purvis just rushed a little bit. That's what I'm alluding to, he's not able to Take his full allotment of time. Gucci again, breaking through. They get it to Cody, makes a nice catch. Can they get the blocking? Yes, one block, one man to beat. He's got the block. Cody, the 15, the 10, the five, touchdown. There's one of them. There's, There's still one. life. There's still life. Purvis, 70 yards to Eric Cody, making the fine catch over the middle. And then the blocking was there. And Cody with the nice moves. And the Trojans have 
life. They have to go for the two right off here. Tarvis just standing over the tee. The snap, he rolls out. Firing in the end zone, Crudo, yes sir! The Trojans will not say die. Yeah. Hey, 434 left here, Jay, and as I said before, I've learned my lesson. I'm never gonna say a ball game is over until the clock has run out. And I, don't, I feel bad for the people that have left.